proportionality, Good one. right? Yep. I mean, that's something that comes up in every state, in virtually every situation, which is you must be acting in proportion to the unlawful force or unlawful deadly force that you are encountering. Yeah. And we see this a lot too. I mean, think about situations where, um, you know, someone comes up to you and they shove you. If you unholster your gun and you shoot them, right. that is probably, and I say probably, there are exceptions to every situation. That's why lawyers exist, right? right? But that is probably not proportional. So even though it's immediate, even though it's unlawful force, you are likely not going to be found to have used reasonable self-defense because you didn't act with proportion. And yeah. and I'll ask you if you have some a different take on this, but my general definition of proportionality, at least when I try to explain it to people, mm. is you have to act with as little force as possible to stop the person from doing what they did. And oftentimes I like to think of it as just just a featherweight more than what that person did to you. Do you have something different you tell people? No, I, I really, I think that's the, a good explanation that you, and I see that in my practice too, using the least amount of force necessary to stop the threat is going to serve you well if you find yourself in a self-defense situation. The only thing that I wanted to add was, you know, we see this spectrum of force and our law doesn't do a good job, I think, of breaking force down when it comes to proportionality or different building blocks, because we have everything from, you know, assertive verbal commands to, you know, discharging a firearm intentionally at a person and everything in between, you know, maze, fists, you know, knives, clubs, you know, they, and it builds up this, this, this spectrum. And what we see in our law over and over again is it tries to simplify it and kind of put these things into buckets, mm -hmm. you know, and in most states, it's either going to be force you know, maybe this end of the spectrum is down here and deadly force. It's going to put everything in a different bucket up here. And some states have an intermediate standard, uh, but that makes it real tough because it seems like such an all or nothing proposition um, if you're forced to defend yourself. Wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely.